Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Miro and today we're gonna be showing you our first video in our Costa Rica series. I think we have enough for about four videos. There's a lot of exciting stuff. I'm not limiting it to just spiders, but you guys are gonna see some tarantulas in wild. You're gonna see huntsmen in wild, wandering spiders, mating huntsmen, mating wandering spiders. I think I already talked about it in previous videos. We flew from Los Angeles to San Jose. We rented a car and we drove about two hours to La Selva Biological Station. La Selva Biological Station station is full of students and scientists and is basically attached to rainforest and it's and is part of like five different national parks one of them being the Kruger in Africa which is the only one that I kind of remember what is unique about La Selva is that it actually has an incline and goes up the hill so it actually has different types of environment and at the top there are volcanoes which are basically national parks protected by Costa Rican government so let me show you guys where we stayed Okay, so this is where we guys stayed. We got kind of lucky because there weren't too many people there, so we ended up getting one of the casas, which is actually really big because it was only two of us. So the food was pretty good. It was a, usually like a combination of a salad, some rice, and some veggies and stuff like that. They always had some sort of a juice with it too. And you could also ask them to box it up for you in case you were hiking at night or something like that. Every day around four o'clock, four, four thirty in the morning, we would hear howler monkeys. And those were basically our alarm. Listen to this. That's three of them. Oh, well, it's a baby, I think. Yeah, it's like two adults and a baby. A baby. Every day after the meal in the morning and at night we would go out for hikes during the day we sometimes slept most of the time we actually slept there were two ways to go for hikes one main one was across this crazy bridge that i'm gonna show you guys right now and then there was another one that was just like a, a right in front of the bridge a week before we got there they saw puma there so that was pretty amazing they also saw jaguars there and a bunch of other big mammals so it's actually really wild and really biodiverse jungle there beautiful sunny day Look at this, how cool. I am already in heaven. My beautiful wife, we're recording each other. One of the first animals that we saw on our first hike were bullet ants. And if you guys are not familiar with bullet ants, let me tell you a little bit about them. So they have one of the most painful stings in insect kingdom. Some say that actually the most painful because it's longer than the tarantula hogs. Tarantula hog, their sting lasts for about two hours. These guys, it's for 12 to 24 hours. And yes, I say sting because ants basically belong to the same family as wasps. And you guys can see these are actually predatory ants but here they collect even moss so they actually occasionally feed on the nectar of flowers and you know some seeds and stuff like that so there's a soft side to these ants and they are also not very aggressive so i was actually able to get pretty close to them without them freaking out which i don't know if you guys are familiar with some like forest ants or fire ants they'll start climbing on you we actually had one night a lot of the leaf cutting ants climb on us too we didn't even notice we were standing in their way and they climbed on us Next little interesting animal that we found was a Pacific, at least I believe it's a Pacific monkey grasshopper. And these are really cool because they have a really cool colors on their eyes and they have some funky colors on their body as well. We didn't really see many spiders on our first day, but we saw this really cool and welcome flash frog. It took my wife for a little bit to notice her. I only noticed her because she was actually moving. That was the only way you could actually notice this frog. And she's looking at me, she sees, definitely sees me. Oh my goodness, I see her now, finally. Oh my goodness. I was very happy about finding this moss walking stick. That was really cool. What did you think? I found a moss walking stick. Definitely one that was on my bucket list. This is a moss walking stick. And it's looking absolutely incredible. The camouflage makes it feel so confident that I can get really close without it freaking out. 
So cool, absolutely amazing. And here you guys see us on our first full day in La Selva and you get one guided tour. So we had it scheduled for the next morning at 8 o'clock right after the breakfast. So we went out with a guy named Octavio and he was really cool. He actually knew a lot. He showed us some maps of the area. He also explained us the trails, which the trails are actually really easy. You're gonna have signs every 50 meters. I'm gonna say it's every 50 yards. Going away from the station, they're gonna be on your right hand side. So if you wanna come back, you basically have to find one and then if it's on the right hand side you're going away if you want to come back you want to have it on the left hand side so you can never get lost basically <laughs> he's patient well this one looks like kind of slender and all and here you guys can see they are heading toward those Honduran bats and they are actually fruit eaters so they actually feed on certain species of a tree that is uh, native to I believe Honduras but it's also in uh, two other countries Costa Rica and I want to say maybe Nicaragua I may be wrong and they sleep during the day in the leaves like this and Octavio basically knew where they are and this was a big family I want to say it was six or seven of them and they were so cute, totally adorable. I almost felt bad for disturbing them because I bet they get once a day they probably get disturbed like that because Octavio does a lot of tours there and I don't know if he shows them to everybody but you know people should ask about these because they are really cute. We also had some regular bats living in like there's like a public toilet next to the cantina where we would have meals and they would actually be there during the day and hide there during the, hide there during the day and just come out at night. So that was also pretty cool. And next I'm gonna show you one of the coolest birds I've ever seen, great Curaçao. And this is a male that we saw twice and I think we're gonna show you some footage of the female later on because I think my wife was able to record the female too and the females are completely different, there's a strong sexual dimorphism. Let's listen to Octavio, he's gonna tell you a little bit more about them. What is it? Oh wow! Oh wow, that is a big bird. That's so cool. Is it a bird of prey? A uh, ground dweller bird from California. A uh -huh. uh, turkey's ground rooster, they are in that family. Oh, California. okay. Chicken like bird. Oh, Chicken like okay. bird. So they might look for food also, mm -hmm. or seeds as well. Frog sometimes. Wow, that looks prehistoric. See? There are three different dart frogs in La Selva and we saw two of them. We saw the very common ones, strawberry poison dart frog, and then we also saw the green and black dart frog, but we only saw that one once. I was gonna be go and stay as far as possible with this camera, let's see. That's amazing. Yeah. We were just talking about you. Strawberry poison dart frogs, we saw a lot more often. They also have another common name, which is a blue jean frogs. And these are diurnal frogs, meaning they are active during the day and they are really active. It took me several tries before I was able to get a picture. And I don't know how much you guys know about poison dart frogs, but basically they get the poison from eating certain types of ants and other animals. And if you're gonna keep them in captivity and you're gonna feed them something like fruit flies, they'll never become poison dart frogs, they're just gonna be dart frogs. <laughs> And here is a cute little leaf beetle that we saw a few times on our first and second hike, I believe. And then after that, we just didn't see them at all. 
as I said earlier, Octavia was really cool and he listened to what we wanted to see and not only he listened, he knew where to find these things. So he actually showed us this eyelash viper which was one of my, one of my dreams. There are two varieties of this viper, green and a yellow one, the yellow or orange one. The yellow or orangey one is actually a little bit more common surprisingly but who knows maybe the green ones are just better camouflage right <laughs> i made one official intro for the all the videos so here it is hey what's up guys welcome to spider cafe from beautiful costa rica and we are on a night hike tonight so we're gonna show you some really awesome stuff at night guys you gotta go out at night that's when everything's happening we found two snakes right away oh look speaking of snakes so we don't know what kind of snake it is, so I'm probably not gonna mess with it, but... Yeah, I think it's the cat eye snake. I'm actually gonna turn this light off. So yes, I was right, it was a cat eye snake. And I believe these are venomous, but they have a rear uh, venom teeth, which basically means they would have to chew on your finger or on your, your limb or something to actually envenomate you. So basically harmless to humans and just really, really adorable. They saw a lot of harvestment spiders. They are actually omnivorous. They feed on anything. And this one was feeding on leaf cutting and soldier, I believe, because they have the big massive head. I don't think actually the harvestman prey on the soldier. Actually, I believe it was a scavenging moment. I saw two or three different huntsman species. And here is the first one. The leaf is also moving. Mm -hmm. So we came back and we found this huntsman mating, so this is pretty amazing to see in a real nature. At first I thought she was eating on some munching on something, but let me see. Next let's check out the cute millipedes that we found. It's really weird because some nights we would find a lot of katydids, some nights we would find a lot of spiders, some nights we would find a lot of ants, and this night we found actually two katydids molting really close to each other, so that was really cool. Beautiful molting. Grasshopper or Katie will be found here, probably Katie for it because of the long antennas. I got it. And I spooked it, but I got it. Nice. Next encounter was really funny. Initially, I thought it was one of those rhino cated it but it actually ended up being something different it's a pitbull cated it and it was an appropriate name because when i first touched it i was, it was facing away from me when i first touched it jumped around and almost bit my finger i just really need to keep my hands away from cated it because it wouldn't be a first time unfortunately we didn't get it on the video i thought we got it on the video too but we didn't but at least i was able to get some pictures so that was really cool So cute. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, we're gonna have 3 or 4 more of these and if you guys like my hair, don't forget to check out our store at spidercafe.shop We also have a coloring book and some t-shirts, not this one t-shirt, this t-shirt actually I got when I work on Black Panther as a 
post-Swiss artist. That was a really cool experience. So, and a really cool t-shirt came out of it, and I think a really cool movie too, so... Alright guys, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Ciao!